Hello and welcome back to Drawing Under the Influence of me, David Killerfish Wagstaff, and Squatto, uh, Matthew Squatto Waddingham, who's going to tell, be telling me what to do. If you haven't seen the show before, it's very simple. I take a drink, I draw something, I have ten minutes to draw it in. Uh, Squatto tells me what to draw, and we just natter on for about ten minutes or so. We do two uh, images per episode, and then we go on to the next one. Ah, that's a fairly sufficient thing to explain what's going on, don't you think that, that that works? More or less. More or less, yeah. Right, I'm just going to mix myself up a drink, and, oh, I've got to give myself a larger one today. <laughs> uh, and, uh, as I'm mixing it up, we should say hello to the people on the chat, uh, who have been with us throughout filming, and they shall be for, with us throughout filming the rest of these episodes, and there we go, so bottoms up. Mm. Mm, sweet. Right. Now, where did I put the pen? Squatto, what numbers have I done? I've done a 2 and 12, right? No. Nope. 3. Three, yes. three and twelve. Right, let's go for uh, number six then, please. Six? Yep. Well, this is going to make someone happy. Yep. Bonus round! Bonus Lasses round. Merz. Yep, yep. One of Lasses Merz. Okay. So, do I have to choose another number? Yes, you do. Okay, what, what, what are my choices 15. from? Out of 15? Right, um... 13, 13. 13, um... I will go for number... 4. 4? Yep. Okay. Right, what am I drawing? It's a mermaid, obviously. Yes. Winning a swimming race, coming first, uh, no mate, me in first place at a swimming competition. Okay. Let me just have a think. You for are a winner. Uh-huh. You are a winner. Uh-huh. Thinking, thinking, got something right. Uh, have you got the timer already and set up? Yeah. And then I shall instruct you, Mr. Squatto, to please begin. One down. Wait, is second usually to the winner's left or to the winner's right? Uh, yes, second is to the right of the winner, bronze is third place, which is smallest part, which is on the left. Unless you want to go crazy, then do whatever the hell you want. Your image, your rules. Platypus. And of course, in third place,
is a killer fish. Right. <laughs> Um. I'm trying to find little things that's nice to go off. Okay, so that's what thing. Once again, pay no attention to all the stuff breaking in the background. That's just me being casually destructive. I am one part sixteenth Godzilla after all. And that arm looks a bit too long, so I'm going to make it shorter. Okay, that was funny. Mm -hmm. No, no. Um, <laughs> I don't even know exactly that street. Um, there was a uh, anti-racism um, street protest taking place in Sydney, in one of the suburbs. Yeah. One, uh, one of the suburbs I know rather well. What turned up there? Mr. Ricky. Of course they did. <laughs> hey, money to be made. Exactly. And this is apparently hilarious. It's the only thing that actually was selling was vanilla. <laughs> so, Mr. Ricky goes to an uh, anti-racist event and only has white ice cream. Shit, you can't make up for a dollar. Oh, oh God, my! It can be so interesting sometimes. Yep. What's my time, please? Your time. Ah. Don't tell me that Chrome's done that thing again. No, 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 no. It just—I clicked on it and it just refused to actually pick up. But you're on five minutes. I'm on five minutes. Hooray! Mm -hmm. And Mouts is now yeah. craving a 99p flake. Ha 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 It's funny, I can't have to get out of dairy products. Another thing I was going to look at, but I see something from a um, local area, which is interesting, but uh, um, not my local area, but that same area, but like, okay, what could be interesting? And apparently it's 40 odd seconds of some student showing butt crack. Never change that part of sickness. Never change. <laughs> Oh yes, something rather strange, and I'd love to see the reaction of this. You know who almost got to be Jar Jar Binks? You're never going to be. Do I really want to know? Ever? Oh, this is rather interesting. Okay, tell me, just tell me. It's easier just to tell me. Well, the actual story as to how it's presented is that the guy goes to a Michael Jackson concert in the 90s um, with Star Wars crew. Mm -hmm. And he's George Lucas presents him to Michael. So this is the one that actually was the voice for Jar Jar Binks. And did the CGI work. Yeah. As in, he was the one that was the standard. Um, when George sees 
Michael, Michael comes over and goes, oh, hi, George. How's been that type of stuff? And he goes, who are these people? And George introduces him and he gets to the guy and he goes, and here's Jar Jar. He didn't actually say the guy's real name, he just says the name of Jar Jar. And Michael had a little disappointment about the whole thing and walked off. Turns out, Michael Jackson is apparently trying to actually be Jar Jar Binks. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, people are like, why is this story now, and why is this such a big thing? Well, first off, just imagine a judge being uh, done by Mark Jackson. Now, here's where it gets particularly interesting. Couldn't, be, why you should go on. couldn't be any worse than what we caught. <laughs> Actually, possibly would have been a bit better. Yeah. We're not saying acting wise, but there was a part of the reason why they didn't do it was, well, one of the reasons they went was, and even Michael was a bit concerned on this was people would have been like, holy shit, Michael Jackson did this, and then that would have been the only thing people talked about. To what am I, t- what am I looking at time-wise? Time-wise? Ah, uh, 8.20. Right, I'll just go a bit faster then. Um, but the other reason why... Um... Yeah, and you struck it in the wrong second time too for the record. Thank you. Um, what I was going to say is the other reason why they didn't want to give it to um, Michael Jackson is because Michael Jackson went with. Um, the site of the strength of the get my gun. Yeah, Michael Jackson wants to actually do it in um, makeup. Oh, right, okay. So it'd actually be pres- physically present on the stage. Yes. That would have been cooler. Yes. I guess I'm, I'm guessing I'm really close to the limit right now. Um, 9.42, yes. Okay, I will just uh, put that in there and sign it, and we will call it that for that particular image. Okay, let me reload. (laughs) <laughs> and uh, then we'll get the next image. So Michael Jackson's Jar Jar Binks. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that'd be good or not. It would have been unique. That would have been true. It would have been unique. Hmm. True that. Uh-huh. And... There we go. Mixing the drinks is obviously much harder than just uh, taking a shot out of a... Uh... But I think it, it adds a touch of class if I, I'm mixing drinks. Maybe next time I should do vodka martinis or something. Shaken and not stirred, of course, because, you know, whoever has them stirred. Apart from people who actually know what they're, as opposed to people who actually know what they're talking about with mixing drinks and know that actually stirring it is much better than shaking it. (laughs) Right. Right from from Lacerine fish. Next time, do some. Next time, I do some vodka. Get a jelly rancho or candy and leave it in for a while. That sounds nice. Right. Okay. Um, what numbers have I done, and what am I on next now? Um, three, six, 
Well, do number eight then, please. Number eight. Just a second. <laughs> oh, great! Something amusing. Squad uh, has been amused. This is never a good sign for me. We had less. The last one. Mm-hmm. We have less again. Ah, oh, here we go. It's another bonus episode. I think we did this last time as well, on the second episode of the last one we did. So, um, right, I've got to choose another thing. Bonus, bonus round. Oh, the red, yes, uh, the red snarky good. comments are going to make comments about this, I guess to tell. Mm-hmm. Right, um... Um... I will, out of what, sorry? Six. Out of six, okay. My voice has suddenly changed, for no apparent reason whatsoever. I will go with number two. Number two? Mm, yes. Well, the actual one that was number two, you've already did, you did that last time. This one is Squatto being Squatto. Squatto being Squatto. Hmm. Okay, then. Let me think on that for a second. Yeah, I think I've got that. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Go. For the record, I'm not actually going to be looking at this one, sir. You should be looking at this, this is going to be hilarious. I'm trying to not see spoilers. Spoilers? Spoilers, you will see spoilers. Oh, I spelled his name wrong. Uh, I did check on the, the chat. I'm not looking at the thing. Pure version is the why we've got the split numbers is because of the fact that last sent through a large number of re uh, requests in a few emails. So because of the fact that there were multiples of from that, that's where we've got the split numbers. Uh, Squad, a quick question. How, Abbott, it's double B O T, right? Abbott? Yeah. A, double B. Yeah. O, double T. Double T, right, that's where I was going wrong. And for the record, Abbott was in government with. Um, during the Howard years. One of the other um, <laughs> ministers in the same government, Costello. If you don't get the reference, hence Abbott and, Gus and Costello. Yep. <laughs> right. I think that's a good enough little thing to go with. <laughs> Not 
<laughs> What's my time, please? Is three thirty five. You're having too much fun with this one. I am. It's actually quite a simple image to do as well. So. Skittles and vodka. Now that is an important discussion going on in the chat right now. Top right hand corner for people on YouTube. Because this is what goes on in my show. We don't have serious philosophical discussions. We have discussions about Skittles and vodka. Because And I'm going to need a time check, please. Uh, 4.40. Uh -huh. I'm not looking at all the image. Keep telling me that. No, I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm also trying to do something else on the side. Oh yeah, with um, Spectra, the new Bond yeah. movie, apparently they've recorded the theme song. Cool. Who's doing it? We don't know yet. But, apparently it will be released soon. Well, the details for it will be released soon. <laughs> because raisins. I have my raisins. Of course, I'm not specifically saying Scott is easier to draw. It's just that uh, we've been friends for like, what, like seven, eight years now. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. So, you know... <laughs> and so, yeah, I've kind of... sort of know where I'm supposed to be going when I, when I start off an image of... or squatter. Also, you stay. Forgot to draw. Uh, forgot to draw your um, your frowny eyebrows. Okay, I found that amusing. You should do. This is really much more difficult when you're not, not seeing what I'm drawing. Because I'm deliberately trying to have the surprise at the end. I know. Doesn't help me though. Right, um...
time, please? Uh, eight forty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. That's the main part of the image done. I could just do a quick sketch in the corner just to finish it off and make everything tie together perfectly. With a big bow? Not quite. With a pair of fixing ears, maybe. Right. Let me draw, the, draw this. You're finding yourself just too amusing. I am. Having too much fun. Time out. Okay, fine. <laughs> Let me sign <laughs> that. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, you just hit the 10 minute mark. <laughs> right. So, let me sign that and we'll... You can take a look now. <laughs> I'm just going to stop the what? Stop. I stopped the, uh, the clock. <laughs> you like? It's good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. What are you got there? Squatter one, squatter one, squatter one, squatter. Right. Thank you for uh, coming and watching the. Uh, our show today, this has been Drawing Under the Influence. I'm Darfid Killerfish Wagstaff. This is Matthew Squatter Waddingham. If you have any suggestions for what I should be drawing on the show, drawingunderintheinfluence at gmail.com. And I'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>